politics in there, but we are. And um, I'm taking the side of, well, I guess the right, even though I'm a libertarian, and everyone else is taking the side of the extreme left, so whatever. <laughs> I can disagree with Matt Dev and still enjoy the hell out of his game. And honestly, it's not like we're calling each other names. It's not like we're, you know, putting everybody on blast. We're just... We're just having a discussion. <laughs> a heated discussion, because we are heated people with heated beliefs. And, um, what ended up starting it was we were discussing um, one of the stories that I'm going to feature on next week's news show on Monday with uh, with Derek and I. And, uh, well, it just kind of spiraled from there. <laughs> it was crazy. It'll probably still be crazy. But generally, my rule of thumb is if you're going to believe a thing, especially a controversial thing, you've got to provide proof. Which, uh... Which uh, Matt Dev and his wife have very nicely started doing. And honest to God, I don't really disagree with them on a whole lot. In fact, I mean, for example, I'm an isolationist. I believe that all, you know, races and genders should be represented in, in medias and stuff. I just disagree with how it should be done. I don't think there should be quotas. I don't think there should be, uh... Like, if a, if a, if a fucking... If an Alabaman white guy has super amounts of pride in what he does as a writer, and he goes and reads up on the plight of the black man, or, you know, it, or is otherwise able to create a compelling black character, does it really matter if the fact that he's white and wrote it? I mean, would it be better if it was a black guy? I guess, but does it really matter at the end of the day when the character is really well written? I mean... A good, uh, that's all I ever want in terms of representation, because, you know, disabled, blind guy, whatever. If there's going to be a blind guy in a game, I don't want it to be just a blind guy. I don't want him to be just known as the blind guy. I want him to be known as a complex and real character who happens to be blind. So, I mean, that's, that's where I stand on the whole thing. But I have pride, so... I have a feeling a lot of these people either feel guilty or are trying to push a narrative, and neither of those things engender pride. Most of those things engender, I have a narrative! I need to push it! Push, 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 push! I think what I'll do over the weekend is, um, I'll take a look at all the stories and read them and maybe make notes for all the talking points I want to go over. The only problem is I can't actually see the damn notes. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be playing Isaac at the time. Oh, that's a good point. I do have a tablet. You have first! It just random pauses in the game. Need to look at my notes! <laughs> oh shit, I missed a thing. Oh god, those pot stickers smell good. problem. Just a little bit. But I do have a, um, an archer talent. So, I can use that to kill enemies at range. Just be kind of careful. I'm not missing things this time. That's the smart thing to do. <laughs> oh, charge shot! Oh, happy day.
That is so much fun to do. I love charge shot. Best item in the game. Followed very closely by phase shot. Nope, he blew up. Ah, that's fire. Oh, this is a weirdly brought up area. I can't go anywhere. There's ever two directions. Yay, shot speed. Fuck. That was close. Ah, well, that solves that problem. Oh, God damn it! Yeah. yeah, I fell into spikes. Hey, Explorb, I like him. I made a dumb mistake. I do like how the game gets progressively harder because the first two victories are piss easy. These last attempts have not been anywhere near that. <laughs> Usually, uh, roguelikes do the opposite. It ends up getting easier the more you beat it. Oh, you can tell that he took inspiration from Isaac in that way. Ooh, thank you. I've got to try and get to the collector. Beat the Osprey. Because I've got to, I've got to rescue you. Well, the game that originally um, <clears throat> inspired the roguelike genre was uh, Rogue Legacy, and they did that. You beat the game, it gets harder. Which I like. I, I think it adds longevity to the game. I mean, even Adom did it with the difficulty modes. Maybe I'll play that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna play, um, I'm gonna play Hand of Fate after this, and then I'm gonna play Adom. Because I meant to do it yesterday and totally forgot. I would play Dead Cells, but I can't because I get stuttering and frame drops. And when you're trying to play a game that precise, you can't afford frame drops. I have no idea. No. Fucking hate desync. I will take the screen tearing because mostly because I can't see it. 
Why, look, a room that is exactly the same as the other room. Except, oh wait, there's a secret. God damn, let off me, motherfucker. Yay, health tank. Health tank ensures for a good time. Good lord, two health tanks and a flamethrower. I'm less enthused about the flamethrower. Eh, for what it is, it works. Baby, time to light your fire. And then he goes pop. the case I'm gonna go over here get this one out of the way all right it's a jump one there Pigeonholing going on here. Fucking Christ. Yeah, har, there be treasure.
worth. Good shit here. Okay, good. There it is. I knew I'd forget to turn the damn thing back on one of these times. By the way, done with my surprise lunch of yummy, yummy, yummy pot stickers. I have little tiny bullets, a lot different from the gigantic bullets I had last time. Well, they fire faster than the super big bullet, but yeah. it's no comparison.
Oh, good. Zombie guy. You go away! That's what you get, motherfucker! Give me stuff. Give me, give me, give me. Let me guess. Oh. I thought it was gonna be the heat suit. Color me surprised. If you had a choice between a double jump and a super high jump, which would you prefer? Uh, probably the super high jump. Huh, I'd prefer the double jump. Mostly because I fuck up jumps all the time. Because <laughs> they allow you to jump the same height, more or less. I must explore! I know what I'm gonna get in the next area if I live that long. I hope Matt... I hope that Matt Dev doesn't get bitter at me for having opinions that he disagrees with. Because seeing as how he's the developer of the game, he knows my specific problems. He could really fuck me if he wanted to. And on the one hand, it would be really funny. On the other hand, it would look really bad. That did greatly increase my health. I might win this one simply based on the fact that I have a restart and I um, have an ungodly amount of health. That is a fire door. Blarg at me. God damn it. I told him not to blarg at me and he fucking blarg right as I jumped off.
What the hell? Huh. Thought it had a fire on it. Not a single store. <clears throat> I've never had that happen before. No, not the bees! I fucking hate those damn things. That's what he'll do. That's how he'll get his revenge on me for disagreeing with him. He'll fucking add more bees. For the record, I don't think he actually would do any of those things. I'm just being a smartass. I don't want anybody thinking that the dev is in any anything other than a stand-up human guy, uh, human being with opinions I happen to disagree with. And by the way, just because somebody disagrees with your opinions does not make them a bad person or a stupid person. You can have disagreements. In fact, being good friends means that you can disagree with each other and not fucking think any less of each other. I don't know why that has kind of fallen by the wayside, but it has. And that makes me sad. Oh, I want those things. Well, I guess I'll get that. <laughs> I got mega damage! And radio bolts! Looks even cooler than it with the missiles. <laughs> Bug. I bet it's gonna cost 15. 
We're up 20, even worse. <coughs> Damn it, I need to find a good place to farm these fucking things. I will go back this way and farm because I'm cheap. Mmm, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. I guess I'll I guess I won't be able to farm because there's nowhere good to farm. Fucking stressful.
Cool, rate of fire up. that at least. I got a nightlight. Now I can walk my ass back and hopefully. Hopefully afford that armor. before I do a boss fight. I must get proper tank.
There we go. The buzzsaw gun. That could actually be useful against this boss I've got coming up. shock. It's a big boss, almost as if the big room is a tip-off.
Sweet. I'm a winner. And now I'm purple. I can't remember if you're the triple shot or the moth orb. Oh, that's gonna bug me. <clears throat> eh, I'll buy you last. I'll buy you first. Because I know what you do. There's a treasure there. Yoink. Oh, there are these wall decks. 
so I get to call them stupid dicks. Oh, I fucking hate those things so much. Damn, these are some lengthy and large areas. I guess I'll go through here. Ah, guess I need the speed. That's not the right speed. That's just a passive bonus, which I will take, because I like passive bonuses. Fucking dog. Oh, let's go down here. Ooh! Speed shell, huh? No, I'm orange! I didn't know they had a speed shell. Jesus fucking Christ, mush shot speed. Oh God. Okay, I like the fragile shell. Especially when it's on top of my regular shell. It gives me lots of shots. Very fun. There we go. Hello, farming area. I'm waiting for you, baby. I'm gonna win this! Woohoo! Great way to finish out this play. And that's right, I'm getting confident because I honestly can't see how I can get fucked here.
Oh! That's how I could get fucked. Alrighty. Except, you know, it's not really working. Goodbye, mother! You go boom now! Splat! And finally, the Viridian Shell. Oh shit! To flip gravity. I like it. Now to buy the rest of this shit. left. Oh shit, I missed the thing. There we go. There's no reason for me to go in there, but I can do is loop around. I guess that's gonna be the best of my options. Doing that. Even though this, even though that fucking shot where the um, it shoots out in a circle is completely useless, I still love using it. Yeah. It's just so ridiculous.
Well, gee, okay. <laughs> Yeah, didn't miss a spot, except in a couple of little areas. Gotta go back over to the fucking labs and get the rest of that shit. I was waiting for this moment, Derek. Check this out. Flamethrower! God, I love doing that. <laughs> it's a bloodbath! <laughs> it is an utterly ridiculous bloodbath. The best part of any roguelite is at the very end when you're so utterly busted that it's just not even funny. Except it's totally funny. <laughs> people like to say it's not funny, and those people are wrong. I mean, I did so good this game, I haven't even died.
Oh, it was a tri orb. Oh well. What? Oh, the one that I thought was a moth orb. It was a tri orb. Whatever. Yep, yeah, a little, a little uh, tri bit. The buzzsaw helped me more in the end, anyway. So apparently, learn from me. Always take the buzzsaw. Now to walk my ass all the way back. Or I guess I could just do this. Free teleport! Now we'll see how tough this fucker really is. No shatter shot, no... No piercing shot, nothing fun. Just an unbelievable amount of uh, fire rate. And a healthy amount of damage. Explore everywhere. Final item, the Attraction Helm.
Hey, Belle. I'm almost done. And then after I finish this, I'm going to, you know, stop for a minute. Here's my final loadout. It's lots. What other games will I play? I will play, um... I'm gonna play Hand of Fate, and I'm gonna play Adom today. At first I'm gonna... But first I'm gonna rest. Do dishes and shit. Gotta keep up my house bitch responsibilities. Fucking wall dicks. At some point, I should do Rogue Legacy. Yeah. As it is the original. Hey, Master Map! I do believe we have a winner. God, this fire rate is glorious! It's like soy milk, except with none of the downsides. Oh, wow, now it's actually dropping bosses and shit. Ew, it kerploded. <clears throat> Fuck a duck. Whoa. Fuck you, bouncy balls. Yeah. Gone, scat! Oh, fuck me, I'm not gonna actually beat this. There's too many enemies, I can't get them all! Oh, that's great! Oh, I did kill him! Oh, that was luck. Nice. <laughs> fuck! That is much tougher than the first two. Oh, that's fun. Okay. And that's all of the robot name fight I'm going to do today. I'm going to switch over to Hand of Fate after I get done with the dishes and stuff. So, I will see you all in a minute.